So you want to run as fast as Gillian Mbappe, don't we all? But today I've teamed up with Carsten, he's a speed coach and also really tall, but he's going to help us analyze why Mbappe is so ridiculously fast, but also he's going to teach you and me how to improve our acceleration. So let's do this. So guys, for those of you who don't know Carsten, he is the genius at Tanner Speed Academy. He's been teaching a lot of young kids talents to run faster. And now today also you and me. Carsten, thanks for coming, first of all. Thanks for we're gonna talk me. about Mbappe. You're gonna analyze him. What we're gonna do today, Carsten's gonna analyze, then we're gonna take a look at his acceleration. But because there's so much to talk about, we're also gonna do another video talking about Mbappe's top speed and his frequency. You also know a lot about that. But why Mbappe? Why Mbappe? I mean, he's obviously one of the, the players who is super, super fast right now. I mean, there's a lot of young kids coming, Haaland, Sané and so on. That's not only Mbappe. But Mbappe is a very good example of what you can do with speed. And one of the things he's doing, which is very, very important, is a, what we call hip extension. That means from foot to head, from heel to head, there's a straight line when he's running. And like this, he can really transfer all the power he has into the direction he's running, okay? So therefore, that's, that's one of the key things, and that is what we have to learn. Another thing is how he's placing the foot. The foot, when he's running, he's placing it under his body. He's not landing with a foot in front of his body, because then it would be like a braking move that, of course, slows you down in the acceleration. And that sounds a bit backwards, because I'm thinking the more you stretch your feet out, the further you get, the better, but it makes sense, I mean. Yeah, it is actually that we call it a negative step. Negative step means that the knee is going up, but the foot is going back, so that you have a horizontal power. Okay. So that your foot is actually in a kind of this position, that you can go there rather than in this position, because then you would have a, a vertical. But that is, I mean, what the top sprinters are doing, right? I mean, the top sprinters, they do this with an insane speed. Football is different. Football, sometimes we have to go to the left or we have to make a rotation to start. So it's a bit of a different uh, thing. But the, the key message is always, how quick can you project your hip into the direction where you need to go? Okay. And for this, you need the, the hip extension. So it starts with the foot. You have to be very active feet, very strong feet, and they push the body into this stretch position. And so how good? compared to, let's say, top sprinters, is Mbappe at accelerating? He's, he's pretty good at this. I mean, I, I don't really know who would win the first five to ten, but he would probably have a, a good chance to be close to them. Um, obviously, the top speed, he's, he's not faster than Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is running with 44 kilometers an hour when he's at top speed, but he's reaches top speed after 60 meters. And we see a lot of defenders, actually, these days, having super high top speeds. Yeah but it doesn't matter if they can't catch exactly. up. Exactly, if the acceleration, if I have the chance to be the first five and make my body in front of you, then of course it's difficult for you as a defender to, to get it. So therefore acceleration is, is one of the key things. So that was the, the hip extension. Exactly. One of the, one of the key secrets behind yeah. Mbappe's yeah. speed. Is, are there any other takeaways from that? That's, that's what, what we have been uh, talking about. The, the foot position, uh, that the, only on the front part of your foot. You would never see them running on the heels uh, because also then that is that you would run and land in front of your body. So it's really that you front foot front foot, front foot, uh, that's, that's the key thing. When you see also Ronaldo, when he's pushing off, he's only in the front part of the feet uh, where we have more power, that's, okay. that's the key thing. So what do you say that I, I do a little run, you look at me, exactly. and then we talk about what I can do better to run more like Mbappe. Full sure. speed now. Okay. Let's, see, uh, <laughs> let's see how this goes. You start just in this kind of, of step position, what we call stance, not really going down. Uh -huh. And from here, you just try to run as fast as you can to the two cones at the end, which right. is about 10 meter now. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And go. How, how many things were, were wrong there? You had a, a quick step, but you were not really projecting your hip okay. forward. So you have more possibilities, more potential by really pushing off 
full speed. The next thing is that your arms, they're flying out a little bit ah, too, too much like this, because then our body starts twisting and that also makes it a bit more difficult for the legs and therefore we're losing a little bit too much time. And that is also very important for football players. When my upper body is twisting and I'm running full speed and I want to kick the ball in full speed, when my upper body is twisting, what is moving next? My leg. Mm. So if my leg is moving like this, of course, it's difficult to, to kick the ball very precisely. So therefore, we try to have full control of the upper body, not making it shift like, like this. So, Carsten, how on earth do I make sure that I get my full hip extension? <clears throat> That's, I mean, we can do a lot of things in the, in the gym, but also I will do some, some things you can do with materials or without materials, which is even more important here on, on the pitch, uh, that we help you to get into this hip extension. And this is starting with your feet. So as I said, your feet need to be very, very strong to push off. So we do a lot of jumpings also to increase uh, the reactive strength in, in your feet. And that's basically the key thing of doing this. Let's go. So first rule. Yeah. What's it all about? The first rule is called speed hop. Okay. So it imitates basically what we need in the hip extension and the sprinting, okay? So what you do is, I say simply, but I know that's a coordinative, really challenging drill, okay? Oh, no. So you hop always with both feet, you're bouncing off with both feet. In the air, you lift one knee, then you're bouncing with both feet and lift the other knee, okay? What? So this is in theory, in practice, it looks like this. Okay, so always try to have both feet at the same time on the ground, in the air, and then you're landing on both feet at the same time again, exactly. And you try to bounce forward. And as we said, only on the front part of your foot, if possible, okay, never on the heels. Okay. And then you go. No, stop. Now you made one. That also happens very often. Now what happened is it was the right hand and the right. Yeah. And the left and the left. But when you're running off, exactly. You see, then it's immediately becoming easier. And you go. Good. Good. What you actually can do, if you have difficulties in starting this, you can bounce first only on the spot. Like this, like a pogo jump. Uh -huh. And then you lift your knees. Right, left, right. And then you go forward. Good. Yes. Good. So what you're saying, if I'm doing this, yes. and you just tilt me forward by a couple of degrees, I'm basically sprinting. Exactly. That also, look, when you lift your knee, this is the lower leg is parallel to the rest of the body. And that's also what we saw with Mbappé, right? That when he's sprinting, so that he can make this, what we call a negative step, okay? So what you want to do is, when you start sprinting, that your foot comes back to push into the next step. Good, here we go. Yes, good. Like with everything, it's repetition, repetition. Now the third time you did it, it was already easier than the first time you did it. So therefore, your body slowly understands what you want it to do. And that's actually what we call coordination. That the brain activates the right muscle in exactly the right moment. And if you're better in doing this, then of course you can do it in a higher speed and you're getting faster. A solid advice. Okay, so that's one drill down. It was one. What do we do next? Now we, we do some, some hopping, because hopping, bouncing is very important, because also here with every bounce, obviously you come into this hip extension, right? You're probably not bouncing like, like this, but you try to, exactly. And then you also have this, what we're looking so much after, this kind of hip extension, okay? The simple thing we do here is that you have both feet in the box, then you're jumping high and you cross your legs over the bar, then you jump again, you have both feet like in the starting position, and then you cross behind. 
and you're in the starting position again. So it's a cross, 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 cross. Okay, and mastering this, how does that make me faster, help my body? Uh, the first thing is that your feet are getting stronger, okay? And also that the feet learn, or the body learns, when the feet exactly have to activate. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know why I'm making the noises, but... Uh... Yeah, but, it, but it's always. And then you always have also to work on both directions because now you are moving to the right. Oh. Okay. Now you're moving to the left and you see it's... That's harder. It's harder, exactly. Okay. But in football, you want to go to the left side as quick as you want to go to the right side. So we have to work on both sides always. All right, so the third drill to improve your acceleration like Mbappé is what? It's a jump. It's a, a jump combination, uh -huh. okay? Uh, what we have is that we, first you jump, or you're standing with both feet in the ladder like this, then you make a hop only to the side, and then it's followed by a very explosive jump by one line going forward, okay? So you always do flat, go. But what you see is that your feet they're always forced really to push off. Yeah. And then you see, when I'm now standing next to you, I see that your body will come into a full stretch. And that's the key thing, okay? That you're not coming into this mm -hmm. forward leaning position, but that you try to stay in this high position. And you see here the hip then is fully extended. Yes, that's good. Yes, exactly. That was very good. It already started that you're really pushing off. I know that you can jump higher because you have more power in your feet, but you did exactly like I want you to do, that you first have full control. So guys, now you know a little bit about the secret behind why Kylian Mbappé is so ridiculously fast. Remember that it's all about the hip extension, having a really straight line when you run and also running on the front part of your foot. And then of course, it's all about training, training, and then training some more. But guys, what should we look into next with Carsten? Let us know in the comment section right down below. Make sure you go to Unisport Store, cop all your latest football gear right over there, and consider subscribing to the channel with the notifications off for more wicked videos like this. And if you'd like to improve as a footballer, you can also hit the playlist right down there. With those words, we'll be signing off. Cheerio.